What's good? My name is X. That's E X X E. Uh, I'm a part of King Collective, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Originally from White Bear Lake, but King Collective, K Y N, King Collective. I uh, recently just dropped a project, Never Knows Best. It's a little five track EP. It's only 13 minutes and 29 seconds long. Before that, I wasn't really making music. I was working on a project for three or four years, but kind of hit a halt, realized I needed to do something different and made this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of like hit like rock bottom mentally, emotionally, physically, <clears throat> and I just needed to find a way to bounce back from that. So I got videos for the tracks on my project, Never Knows Best, and just more music period from all outlets. Like that year that I wasn't making music, I was making a bunch of decisions that just I knew weren't good for my life, but I was doing them anyway, just not paying attention, not really making the right choices that I should have. Never knows best, like, like, like I know, but I'm just not listening to myself. Like, I know I shouldn't be going and getting drunk this night, like getting drunk and doing shit that's not healthy for me. I shouldn't be going and doing drugs. I shouldn't be going and beating myself up over bullshit. Just a lot of mental and which transferred to emotional and physical like problems that I just didn't deal with and I knew I should have but I was just ignoring it so like I never knew best. What brought you to to your realization and to this music now? Uh, I would say I hit rock bottom like I was just I wasn't making money I wasn't doing anything I wasn't making music I wasn't moving forward in my life I was just like skating by like as much as I needed to do to just survive and like not have anybody really say anything to me about it came up on Christmas and I went to uh, Chicago for Christmas where the room majority of my family is and I just had like a complete breakdown on Christmas like it was bad it was bad and after that, I kind of like <laughs> realized I needed to do something because it just wasn't making sense. And the thing that I needed to do was make music again. We were in my studio. I share the studio space with uh, ATR The Sage, the homie. Shout out ATR. And uh, we're at Profile Event Center. I've had this space for about a year now, and it's been going pretty nice. We just built the vocal booth, got the nice speakers. The homie Kendon though is usually in here spitting hot fire. But yeah, it's just, we're in the studio right now, cooling it. Minneapolis, St. Paul, the heart of underground hip hop, bro. Like, where Rhyme Sayers is from, man, where Prince is from. Like, fucking music lives here. Music, like, it's pumping through everybody's veins, just nobody knows about it yet. There's a lot of unheard talent. There's a lot of really dope people who don't get any shine just because the, it, I feel like the city needs a lot more connectivity. Like, people need to network and people need to talk more and, because just not enough people talk, not enough people know. Like I'll hear about something dope that happened the morning after and be like, fuck, I wish I would have known about that. Or I know that I don't tell other people some things that I should have just dropped in their inbox and been like, yo, come to this spot. Rich Lee is out here DJing, fucking killing parties every night. Uh, there's people who do video work. There's my boy Kendon. He's fucking one of the dopest rappers that's out here and nobody really like knows about him in the local scene. Uh, there's everything I'm doing with King Collective. I mean, we just started bubbling like a couple months ago but we're coming up quick but it's really on the hush as far as local people we've kind of expanded beyond like on the internet working on trying to network there uh everything that demon marcus and infinite one is doing all that shit is fire but people it's it seems like it's on the hush hush uh king collectors is just family there's uh four of us four artists rio galore crush crxsh um sweet ave and me it's just self-promotion like supporting each other and everything that we're trying to do and helping like get our art out to more people everybody's got music coming up crush is dropping the beat tapes sweet is dropping is about to start dropping singles on people rio just dropped a project back in february called uh seems something like love just a little three track it was fire but i mean we got shit coming i mean us right now it's, i mean sound set man like the Soundset is everything right now. The one event that everybody is going to be at. Whether it's just to enjoy good music or to go and link and network with people, it's it's that's what the only thing that I'm really looking forward to. Summer in general, because summer just has a bunch of like dope shows coming up. Everybody's trying to show out for summer. Uh I mean Dwayne L, uh Plaza, Free Wi Fi, all them. Radio. Like radio snap and I feel like he's super on like the low key, low key. Longley. Longley's dope as fuck. Cram. Cram's dope as fuck. Uh, who else is even over there? 
Shrimp Notes, Solo, Outside of Crown, Dope as Fuck, Ice God the MacGyver, Super Fucking Fire, uh, Demon Marcus, Squire, Dende, his whole, their whole squad, Super Dope, Travis Gorman, Fucking Killing It. Like, there's, I can, I can name person after person after person. Asia's fucking got that fucking heat. Rich is a fire ass producer. Rich Garvey, been killing it around the city for the longest time. Like, ah, who even has fucking. Kendon, once again, fucking snapping on it all day. Kendon Peters. Trippy Kids, the fucking group he has with ATR. Fucking, it's all dope music, but like, nobody knows about it. Minnesota's on the, like, hush hush, but the scene is just as fire. Don't ever stop making music again because obviously that shit doesn't work out. Like, I need to always be creative. I mean, I don't ever want to be in the position that I was a year ago, ever, ever again. So my goal is just to stay positive, stay healthy, and stay on my grind because that's what seems to keep me in my spirits. Uh, yo, signing off. This is X from King Collective, and this is Stan at the City. Peace. Staring at the city. Staring at the city. Staring at the city. Staring at the city. At the city. You staring at the city. Yo, Chris Paul, legendary, organized confusion. Staring at the city. Staring at the city. Staring at the city. Minneapolis, baby. So it's been how long since we spoke to you last time? Like almost a year to the day. Now, 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 a year later, 2019. Growth. Uh, growth is putting out your first project in like four years. Growth is really understanding what you want from music after putting that project out. Growth is moving on from SoundCloud to Spotify. Uh, Growth is not everything working out the way you wanted it to. And growth is bouncing back. <laughs>